Hello there, today I'm going to talk about a technique which is done pretty much automatically by cameras these days. Um, compacts do it, DSLRs do it. As soon as you mount a flash gun on um, a DSLR in bright conditions or indeed use a flash on a compact camera in bright conditions these days it, it knows that you want to use fill flash. Now, back in the days of film um, you had to do this yourself. Now you could use a couple of methods. Uh, one was called the guide number method whereby you would measure the distance between you and your subject uh, and then you would set your flash gun at that specific distance using the guide number which was uh, aperture over distance or something like that I, I, many years ago. I, don't, I can't remember. It's been too long. So <laughs> Here's a technique which you can use and it's simplicity itself. Um, it essentially it separates the two um, exposures into ambient and flash and mixes them together. The only thing is you have to manually set the flash exposure and manually set the, uh, the ambient exposure and uh, combine them yourself which modern equipment does for you. This is a bit more involved very simple but you, you do have to do it all yourself so what I'll do is I'll move the, the flash gun which is incidentally a Nikon SB17 which is a TTL flash uh, specific to the Nikon F3 system. You can get a, a standard shoe version of this which is the SB15 it's essentially the same gun but uh, these things are so ancient, the only thing I think they have in common with modern flash guns is that they use double A batteries. <laughs> it's, uh, as you can see it's quite an old beast, a bit blocky but uh, well built, does its job. It's got bounce as well so it's uh, fairly advanced. Let's just set that to the uh, 100 ASI and normal. Okay so we'll bring the camera in. The first part of the equation, uh, this is a Nikon F3 by the way. Um, it's got a motor drive fitted because I've got film in it and I can't take it off so it's uh, going to have to stay on for this makes it slightly more cumbersome but hey ho it's all we got so here we go right get rid of the strap out of the way so the first thing you need to do is make your flash gun on this it's on the um, over the rewind crank most cameras obviously over the top of the pentaprism on a, on a hot shoe. Now don't turn your flash gun on because uh, as soon as you turn your flash gun on it will default to a flash exposure and you, you won't be able to um, change any of your settings so what you need to do is leave your flash gun turned off for now, get your camera off auto and into manual, set the fastest shutter speed sync for flash you can use slower speeds obviously but as it's going to be a, a bright day hopefully when you're at the beach or wherever um, you need to set a fast shutter speed obviously it depends on the camera this one just happens to be 1 60th of a second then take your ambient reading for this just for speed we'll use f8 and focus your camera which is say seven feet that is your ambient exposure set so your background will be correctly exposed now we need to move the camera out of the way bring the flash back in at this point obviously this will be mounted on your uh, camera turn your flash gun on now because you're in manual and you've set the x speed sync this won't default the camera to a flash exposure so what you need to do is go to your auto apertures on this there's two and generally on uh, these kind of guns there's a, a two stop difference then the more auto apertures you have the better unfortunately this this has just got two but it'll work to show you how it works so essentially what you need to do is confuse the flash gun which reads the exposure through this little electronic gizmo on the front which I call a magic eye which is what it is <laughs> and then all you need to do is set the flash gun to f4 
remember the ambient reading is F8 so to confuse the, the flash into thinking that there's more light than there actually is set that to F4 that's your two stop difference that will give you a one to four ratio and that is your uh, your flash exposure the camera will combine the two the flash will read the flash gun will read the flash exposure the camera is set to the ambient setting and the, the combined one will give you a fill flash ratio of four to one it's that simple the way I remember it is to um, whatever the aperture is for the ambient reading just set two stops bigger on your flash gun and that's it job done okay hope that's been helpful bye